Hey guys, welcome back. So I have got a really exciting video for y'all today. I've got a lip swatch party and review video for y'all on the brand new Maybelline Color Sensational Into Matte Nudes. So there are 10 different shades. I have all 10 shades. So I'm gonna do like I normally do in my lip swatch parties. We'll look at swatches on my hand, swatches on my lips, and then I'll just kind of give you my overall thoughts on these lipsticks. So let's get to it. So really quickly before I jump into the different colors, I found these all at Bed Bath & Beyond and they were $5.49 each. And these are all supposed to be matte lipsticks and nudes, like everyday sort of colors. So that's what we're dealing with here. That's what we're supposed to be getting with this collection. So the first one is 530 Hot Sand and this one is Nude. And it's a very like warm toned nude, like a peachy um, sandy sort of a nude. Now this is definitely one that isn't super forgiving, but honestly for how light it is, I don't think it shows dryness and um, lip lines quite as much as some others might, but the, it still does a little bit. So that's just an FYI, you know, but these sort of colors do that in general. So I think it has less to do with the formula and more to just do with it's a really light nude. This one's another holy moly, that's a nude lip nude lip. This is 535 Purely Nude, and this one is kind of more of um, a pinky light nude. It's not super like far off in how light it is from this one, but it's definitely more pink than this one. This one's definitely more peachy. This is more on the pink side. Again, this does kind of um, draw attention to dryness and lines, but it's because it's so light. I would not wear these by themselves, but with a lip liner like blended into them, I think they'd be really pretty. Or with another like darker lipstick and just this in the center of the lips, just for some like added brightness and dimension and an ombre sort of a lip, I think it'd be really pretty for that. I love this one. This is 540 Peach Buff. Now I would call this one more of a pink, more so than a peach. Like it's a warm tone pink, but more pink than peach for sure. That's one thing about this collection, you know, it's it's advertised as kind of being nudes, but really, I mean, that's a pink. So I would say this collection is more kind of like everyday sort of colors, more so than nudes. You know what I mean? Because there's a lot of these kind of colors in there that are really, really pretty and great everyday colors, but not necessarily quote nudes. You know what I mean? So there is that one, really, really pretty. This is another one of my favorites. This is 545 Beige Babe. And this one I would definitely say is more of like a nude nude. Like it's a more traditional kind of a nude. It's not super pinky or anything like that. It's a really pretty one. That swatch got very tiny there, but hopefully you can see it. <laughs> I might have to fix that a little bit, but you can see the color there. It's just a really beautiful nude. Um, does show lip lines and dryness just a little bit, but not terribly. As far as formula on these, these remind me more of the loaded bolds than the creamy mattes. Um, they feel a little bit creamier and more almost like a cream lipstick versus the creamy mattes that feel a little bit more on the matte side, but I still love those so much. So these remind me more of the loaded bolds than the creamy mattes. This one is not one of my favorites from the group. This is 550 Honey Pink. And it's funny that that other one they called um, Peach or something like that was more pink. And this they're calling Pink. And this looks more peachy to me, like corally, like a bright coral. It's pretty, it's a really pretty color, but I wouldn't call that a nude. Like, and I really wouldn't even call that necessarily like an everyday, my lips but better kind of a color. I mean, it's pretty, it's a really pretty color, but it's just brighter. It's more of like a pastel-y, um, brighter, peachy sort of color. It's like a pinky peach. So there's that one, honey pink. I do really like this one though. This is 555 Naked Coral. And this one is a little bit more subdued. I think that's why I like it. It has more like, um, of like a muted sort of a tone to it. So it's kind of like a mm, peachy pink, but it has a little bit more of like a mauve tone to it. So I feel like it's gonna go with more makeup looks and not be quite as bright and statement of a lip as that last one. So I do really like this one. This is Naked Coral once again. Now we're getting into some of the deeper shades. I love this one. This is 560 Raw Chocolate and it's like a really warm toned, 
brown sort of a shade. So this would definitely be a nude on certain skin tones and it's beautiful. I just love this one. And I feel like it's a unique sort of a color, like not something that's um, super prevalent in the drugstore. So just a kind of like different, fun sort of a shade. Love this one. Well, I said that we were getting into the darker shades, but we kind of bounced back to the pinks a little bit with this one. This is 565 Almond Rose. And this one is, again, kind of, kind of a little bit bright. I mean, not like neon or anything like that, but it's, it's got quite a bit of color to it and quite a bit of brightness, but it is a really pretty pink. And I do feel like this is one of those pinks that will go with a lot of makeup looks and um, it's not an overwhelming color. It's not like a, you walk into the room and everybody goes, whoa, that's a bright pink lip. It's not kind of like that. <laughs> It just, um, it has some color to it. You know, it's more of a pink than a nude to me, but I do really like it. This is another beautiful one. I personally love this shade. This is 570 Toasted Truffle. And I like this one because like on my lips, I feel like it looks more um, cool toned. So kind of like a slightly purpley mauve dark brown. Really, really pretty because there's a lot of like warm tones um, in this collection, like a lot of kind of peachy tones, warm toned pinks. And I feel like this one is pulling slightly more purpley brown. So really a cool shade. And lastly is 575 Brown Blush. This is gorgeous. And this one is even more kind of a purpley sort of a brown. It really honestly is like a dark mauve more so than a brown. It's really just kind of a mauve, but it's absolutely beautiful. Love this one. You know, really like the deeper shades. I'm not finding them to um, accentuate lip lines or dryness. It's really just kind of the lighter shades. And again, I think it's having to do more with the color of the lipstick versus the formula. I really do like the formula of these. Is this one not just the most beautiful dark mauve like a gray mauve kind of a color. So cool. Okay guys, so those are all the different shades. So here they are all together. So overall, I do really like this collection. Again, I think the name is a little bit misleading just because I wouldn't look at this collection of colors and necessarily say nudes. I think that their buffs line um, is definitely more of a nude line, but those aren't mattes. They're more of like a creamy, satin sort of a finish, but I do really like that collection of colors. So if you're looking for nudes and you're not necessarily finding it in this collection of colors, maybe check there, but also in their creamy matte line, they have some nudes there too. So um, I wouldn't necessarily call this collection a nudes collection, but I do really like it. I don't love every color from it, but I love most every color from it. And I do really like the formula on them. They're creamy, they're comfortable. They're affordable, around $5.50 you get, if you get them at like Bed Bath & Beyond, Walmart, or Target. Love the price point. They do have that um, Maybelline play doh -y sort of a scent. So just know that if that gets you, if that scent gets you, it's going to get you in this line because it's in here. So it's got that scent, but I'm really, really liking these. I think it's a pretty collection, and I love how they feel on the lips. All right, guys, so that wraps up this lip swatch party and review video on the Maybelline Into Matte Nudes. So I hope that you really enjoyed it, and I hope it was helpful for you. Please hit a thumbs up if it was, and let me know down below if you've spotted this collection, which colors are speaking to you, if you've picked up some of them, what do you think about the formula? I love hearing your thoughts. Ask me any questions that you have. I'm happy to answer those. Please subscribe to my channel if you're not already, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!